grace, mercy, and peace be unto all of you from God our Father and the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For this is the day that the Lord has made, and I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Um, just want to make a quick vlog. Just found out a little while ago that uh, the oldest grandson of the late great Malcolm X, Malcolm Shabazz, has died due to injuries he sustained during the block robbery robbery in Tijuana, Mexico. Um, that's what they saying in the news. The US Embassy had just confirmed that this happened. Um, and just it really affected me because um didn't know him personally, but he was a resident of an agency that I once worked for. And I uh, knew a lot of staff that knew him. And when he was there after what took place with his with his grandmother after her passing. And it just saddens me that this family has gone through so much trial, so many tragedies in, in their lives, in their lives, and, and it just, it, 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 I took it personal, the loss, his loss, uh, the family's loss and everything, even when his grandmother passed away. You know, I believe his grandfather, when his grandfather passed away, it was before I was born, but when his grandmother passed away, you know, I was sad and I didn't blame him because I knew that wasn't his plan. You know, I, that wasn't what he was trying to do. He basically was trying, he was acting out because he didn't know how to, how to deal with his emotions, you know, which is, it's just, when you're young, a lot of people don't understand this, but when you're young and you're black, it's just, we're told not to cry, you know, don't be a punk, hold your feelings in. So then he lashed out in different ways, and that's what he did. He lashed out, I'm not making up an excuse for him, but that's the last thing he wanted to do was kill his grandmother. Um, and then now he grows up, he's been through so much, and now at 28 years old, he's now gone, you know, and his mother has to bury her oldest son. And, you know, I can understand me being a father three, I know what it is. I mean, I have a 17-year-old son, and I would never want to have to bury him. He, like Denzel Washington said in his, in his movie, I'm not burying my son. My son is going to bury me. So, I mean, I can, I can understand the pain that she may be feeling right now. So my heart and my prayers go out to the Shabazz family, uh, to the Little family. Some of my families may still want to use the last name Little. But my prayers go to that family because they've been through so, so much, so many tragedies. And, and I know that they're hurting. And, you know, I... An old girlfriend of mine, uh, she grew up in a, she was in a group home, and one of the daughters were was her staff, and she said that the family, they loved each other, they were great, but they've been through so much pain, and my heart and my prayers go out to them so much, so much, and and they'll get over this. I know they'll get over this, but it's still going to be a long road, a hard road for them to travel, so I just ask that you pray their strength in this whole matter, you know, and pray that they get healing and they find some type of peace because the family has been going through so many trials, even from, even when Malcolm, Malcolm X was a child, the, the drama that his parents went through growing up, I mean, his father was murdered, you know, and then grow up, that boy, he was murdered, now look at all this stuff, it's just so much pain that goes on with that family, and I really, really, truly feel bad for them. And I hope and pray that they get some type of healing from this. Nothing else bad happens to them. You know, just ah, I beg you, please pray this for me. And just want to do a quick vlog about that. Rest in peace, Michael Shabazz. I wish the Shabazz family all the best, and I will be praying this for them. And I'll be praying your strength as well. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. God bless. God be in shalom.